Alrighty. We're we're go for one more level in World Seven. Yeah, but or World One. You I know mean. what? Let's let's head back to market for a sec. Decalburg. There's something. There's something here that I would like. Another good sticker. A 3D sticker. Hmm. Them thing stickers are pretty good. So you asked me before oh. if things were just a one-time thing? Yeah. <laughs> He's got the goods. He's got the goods. I got the goods. Take your pick. Whoa, those are expensive. Not really. So if you come across a thing in the real world, well, I mean, out in the map, rather, and you use it, then you can just buy it again from here for a certain price. And depending on how good the thing is, is determines its price. Right. So if you use a really good thing over and over again, then it's going to get costly. But we want the fan specifically for now. Stay perky. I wonder if that's his catchphrase. I wonder if he walks around to people going, Hey, bro, stay perky. Don't you say some stuff like that? Well, I'm Canadian, so I, when I say goodbye, I say cheers. I'm Canadian, and that's not a thing that I say. No, well, I should say I, should say I live in Canada. I'm not Canadian. I'm, I'm falsifying my identity. Uh-oh. That's enough out of you. Overcompensate, Kirsty. They're just they just had a big budget. Come on. <laughs> they're gonna have to spend it or else the money goes away. Yeah, they <laughs> well I mean like why not, right? They just decided to splurge a little bit. Just because Bowser just gave him some money, I mean It reminds me oh They just wanted to buy some Oh those two guys wanted to buy something nice. There was a Koopa there, huh? Hmm. I was gonna say so, though, all this budget talk reminds me of SimCity 3000, mostly because like a guy said, you know, I heard people complaining that we were over we're over budgeting roads, but trust me, me and my staff will find ways to, to spend the money. <laughs> anyway, you were saying so. I forget what I was saying. Oh, well, that was not very good. Oh well, that didn't go nearly as far as I'd have liked. I'm trying to make it anyway. Oh, one health point. Well, I was mentioning the Koopa. I was mentioning the Koopa joining in late, and he dropped a sticker, and then you said, so, and then that was it. Oh, So I guess um, you don't remember what it was you wanted to say. It's, no, no, it's, uh... You know what? It's the moment's long gone by now. Oh, well. He's after that special thing! Guys! He's after the MacGuffin. Launch the bombs! Bombs, wake up! Kill yourselves! What's a what's a slugger bed? You're 72 virgins of weight. S my 72 virgins? Well, they well they're suicide bombers. Come on, these guys are gonna die. What do you think happens to them? All oh, right, but why 72? I don't know. That's just what they say in the Quran. <laughs> oh, they're parachute. Wow, some of them aren't even hitting the the platform. Whoever's firing those cannons cannot shoot. So here we are, finding the bombs. When I was young, I always pronounced them as bob bombs. Well, that's how you say bob bombs. They're not. I, I always said bomb bombs, but their names are bob bombs. Yeah, bomb, bomb bombs, bob bomb. I'm pretty sure the cartoon used to call them bob bomb, bob bombs. Yeah, but we call them Bob. Whoa! He just exploded on you. Bob the bomb. And you're just like, nope. I'm, I'm clear. Yeah, well, that's... Mario, well, that's... Mario can take a bomb to the face. He's one tough son of a bitch. That's... That's the bomb's whole modus operandi. That's that's what it does. It's a bomb. Well, that bomb's gonna go off. This is gonna... You better kill it quick. Walk into your face and then explode. I'm working on it. So if you jump on him without an iron... Did it. Oh, nice. Just trigger the bomb by jumping on it. I imagine you would have had to use like a a, a, a a ranged weapon to kill it. Yep. So, 
Mario, that sticker's whole thing is Mario loses his grip on it. And it comes crashing down ten times its original size. Well, he he's throwing it straight up. But his eyes look surprised, like, oh, wait a minute. He's doing it on purpose. It's to... It's to attack flying enemies. I know, it's, I, know it's, I know it's the weapon. I know it's the weapon, but it's like, he looks so surprised, like, oh god, it slipped out of my hands again. But hey, it did that thing where it turned into a giant hammer. That's amazing! It keeps happening, and frankly, he doesn't question it. He's just like, eh, it works for me. Oh, that would have been cute if you just stood, if you, if you actually ended up like that. Like, 2 deep because of the... Oh, oh yeah, if he didn't move? Yeah, if he's, he just stayed 2 deep and moved around like that, and it's like, well, you want to play like this? You gotta turn your 3DS 90 degrees to the side. <laughs> what sense would that make? Well, it would definitely use the uh, 3DS's I mean, gyroscope. Yeah, I, w I agree. I agree. It would, it would be cute, yeah. It, was, it would be really difficult. That looks like a with. fake box right there. Oh, never mind. Just from the, just from the uh, angle up top, that looks like a fake question mark box. Hmm. Uh-oh, the flying Goombas are coming! The wind is blowing. I hear hurricanes are blowing. Oh no, room in the album! Oh no. We might as well go use some of them. There's a way to fix that. Engage, fight! Getting the fighting with some of the... with some of the Barra Goombas. Do you have a lion jump you can use on him? Uh, yep, a couple. See, I wonder, I wonder if the wolf, if the fa oh, they dodged it. What a cheeky little monkey! Oh. So what? Are, what are you wondering about the fan? And I was gonna say, well, oh, there's a the run button. I was saying, hey, there's the. Uh, and I was gonna say, there's a the fan, but. But there's wind already, so I'm wondering if the fan would even work on them. Oh yeah. Um, of course it would. I know. Probably. I know it would. I'm just saying. Wow, that guy was at one health, and you just had to go for the nuke. You had to make sure he died. Go big or go home. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, etc., etc. See, whoever designed this fortress does not have a very good mind for defense. No, the the wind is blowing and it knocks Mario off the bridge, so that's that was perfectly fine. Oh, now we can cover up those uh, those nasty tunnels, huh? Trick of perspective. Yeah, we can cover we can cover the vents with stickers. A trick of this actually threw me for a loop the first time I saw it. Well, couldn't you go through without having to cover them? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I think it would just blow you off every time. I don't know, because you, you seem to be going okay un until that Goomba hits you. But thanks to perspective, thanks to camera tricks... Oh, The glue wears out eventually. So you have to pick up the pace. But you did not. You are not going to leave that sticker behind. I want it. Oh, that box is in the middle of nowhere. Can you fall off? How am I supposed to reach it from here? Uh, no, you can't actually. But it, I still like the fact that they included the tumbling animation. Yeah, it's like whoa, no. Oh no, 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 no. You're walking in 2D, how can you fall off a 2D platform? Uh oh. 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 Mario's just like, oh. Oh. What a shame. <laughs> how about that? That sucks. Now we're back to bomb. Wait, wait. Where were the bombs before? Are they falling just on this side of the fortress? No, they're falling from that big pillar in the center. In the background? Yeah, yeah, but where was that pillar before? We, were we on the? Uh, were we just on another part? In the, in the same in the same spot. We yeah, we were on the wall on, across on the background there. 
So we just went in a big circle. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. But if we went in a circle and this thing is in the center, it would have... We would have had bombs and paratroopers. Or paragoombas. Whatever, I'm, I'm not going to question this, uh, the layout of this map. Fight fire with fire! I will destroy these bombs with a bomb. Hey, it works. That one turned, that one bomb turned rogue. He's like, Mario, I'll help you. Just like all the other Paper Mario games. All your friends are just enemies that have gone rogue. Nah, they're just, they just felt, uh, they just are, uh, you know, they're trying to make ends meet. So they have to go with a job that employs. Bowser's a very good employer. Oh, it's sideways. We got to paperize this stuff. You figured that out right away. When I played this, when I first played this game, it took me a while to figure that out. I couldn't, I just could not figure out for the life of me what was wrong with this thing. Oh, it's stuck. It's unstuck. You're gonna have to stick it, take it out and put it back in. There we go. It's kind of weird that they unpaperize you and you they expect you to paperize right back. Yeah, well, they, I guess they're figuring they figured they uh, they're gonna make you work for your time. Actually, although you know you say I figured that out right away, you know one 3D or one DS uh, thing that tricked me for a long time, for like at least five, ten minutes. What was that? It was the uh, it was the Link's a wi not the Link game on uh, 3D on the DS the uh, Phantom Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass, right? Have you played that one? No, I haven't played any of. Okay, well. Of the three DS Zelda games. Oh, nice. Oh, the regular Zelda. Mario Mario is such a tool. Wait, do you have to keep pressing A to keep yourself down, or does he do that automatically? Nope. No, he's hiding automatically. That's just the power of the sticker. No, I know, but the animation. Uh, if you press yeah, A, yeah, he 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 braces. If you press A, he braces. No, if you press A, then he actually lunges up ah. and he meets the the goomba halfway. I see, I see. And that does more damage. Anyway, like I was gonna say, the oh nice, you completed it. The Phantom Hourglass has this little puzzle where it, there's a map on the wall and it says. Uh, you must press together, or you must press your map to this map to get it. And I was like, but the map is on the top, on the top screen, I can't touch it. Oh, there's Luigi back there. Luigi, what are you doing here? Well, whatever, anyway. Well, you know. He's just there to hanging out, chilling. Anyway, uh... He's, he's being a part of the game. He was there, didn't you see him? We walked across that, that uh, oh, that you know, wall he looked, he looked at us. Oh, <laughs> time to bail out. Time to get out of here, son. Anyway, the, uh, the 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 puzzle was press the two maps together, and then I was like, how the hell do I do that? And then for a long, and I just you fold, huh? Don't you just fold the DS close? Yeah, that's that's what the, the solution. You you have to close the DS to actually, and then you have to open it again, and then it presses the maps together, transfers to you, and I felt like an idiot. I was. I felt, I figured that out in like five seconds. Well, I didn't because I mean because come on, the 3DS if you close it, it's to put the game to sleep. Yeah. But I was just like, what the hell do I do? And then I figured out. And I was like, oh, that's clever. That's cute. You have to think about it. You have to think about it from Nintendo's perspective. Yeah, I know. What? Unfortunately, I did not. What could you do? What could you do to make Aww. this experience? Really unique and intuitive, and also pretty annoying. <laughs> and most importantly, how can we re we repeat it for the sequel? Did they repeat it for the sequel? They did not. I'm just I'm just messing. Wait, did you notice that the Goomba used this trumpet to wake those bombs up? Yep. So, I mean, he knew how to use that object. That was one gifted Goomba. He knew exactly what to do with it. He didn't even know how to. He didn't even have hands. Well, he didn't even have lips to push. That's together. what I'm saying. He's a. Skip. I used to play the trumpet. She 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 she. Nee, 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 nee. Anyway, you used to play the trumpet, and it was tough, huh? Uh, well, it was just. It's just that it's really uh, hard on the lips at first. Oh, there's there's Goomba. I knew it was the Goomba King. 
And he's gonna become huge! He's not very big, though. He's gonna become huge, come on, it's the power of the stickers. That shine! And even Mario's afraid. Yeah, he freaked the hell out of Mario. That's a royal sticker! Do you think that those stickers make people crazy? Oh, of course not. Those royal stickers that that Goomba is wearing, I mean... That's just... You know. That's just the way it is. It's like a curse. It's like a cursed artifact that gives you great power, but at the same time, it makes you insane. No, it doesn't even do that. It just gives you great power. I know, but I'm saying it would have been clever if it did. Oh wow, that's a lot of dudes. Such shineability. Lo I love the music for this fight. In fact, all the boss fights in this game, they all have stellar music. The, are they all unique? Yes, they are. Nice. Nice. You know how to. You know how. You're pretty good at slots, dude. <laughs> As you say that, um, believe it or not, I was actually aiming for the poison mushroom, not the lightning bolt. One. <laughs> oh, that's a huge. Okay, it's uh, it's just a ton of goombas. It's not just a, a huge horde of them. Oh, come on. Let's just use the fan and get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why did you poison yourself? There's actually a legit strategy to that. Poison is contagious, uh, and it will be passed on to, ed to anything, including bosses, as long as you make physical contact with them. And that means either jumping on them or letting them hit you. I see. Organize! Paperize! Destroy! This is the power of the sticker. Mega Goomba! And he's real shiny. See, now he's poisoned. Nice. It's only for it's only for one turn for him. Oh, now he's now he's now he's pointy. now he's all pointy, so I can't jump well, on. Well, not him. not that you were going to anyway. Well, if I jumped on him, I would pass on the poison and I would do more damage. Yeah, but you would hurt yourself. His defense is really really high. Sorry. Well, yeah, I would. Oh, oh, you messed that up. <laughs> yeah. The iron jump sticker would let me jump on pointy objects and enemies. Wait, he touched you, but he didn't get poisoned. Yeah, well. That's weird. Yeah, sometimes this game, you know. Maybe he was rolling, so it's like dodge to avoid damage or something. Now there is no dodge in this game. There was no dodge in any of the Paper Mario games, but there was a dodge in Mario and Luigi, though. Oh, dang, they're actually going for the three-hit kill there. Alright, let's see if I can get Mushroom this time. Off to a good start. Well, nope! Ah, oh, you got two coins! Consolation prize! You don't die this turn! The music gets all funny yeah. when you're really low on health. Yeah, it's like, oh, 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 oh. I think it's uh, when you're at less than a third of your health. Because I, I remember from my first playthrough that I got a whole lot of health. Like, way more than 30. Yeah? And the, the funny music wouldn't kick in sooner, but it would kick in at a higher value than 10 or 9 or so. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it kicks in when you're at less than a third of your health. Cool. Let's try this Man, one. Man, you're just going through those stickers. I'm taking my time with this fight for two reasons. The first is because if I did use the fan sticker right away, then it would actually be way too easy. <laughs> and the second is because I kind of have a whole lot of stickers, so I'm trying to burn through them. Big money. No whammies, stop! You just powed yourself in the foot. Yeah, well... I wonder if they use that expression. They don't have guns. So do you think they did? They use like, I just hammered myself in the foot, or I powed myself in the foot? <laughs> Possibly. Shiny fire flower, go! 
That was way. Th Did a whole three damage. That was uh, that was entirely un un. Uh, what was I gonna say? That was entirely un unclimactic. Anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Oh, now you're gonna fan him. Did you have to wait until they were he was at this stage? Yes, when they're at the multiple Goomba stage, that's when he's really vulnerable to the fan. <laughs> the fan just comes up from the sky again. As a sun. Now, actually, actually, when we first used this fan in the world, in World 1-4, I think, yeah, it actually gave us a hint that it was supposed to be used against the boss. Because if you remember, there were Goombas and Koopas just lying around on the ground. Yeah, and they, yeah, and they got sucked into the vortex. But then they fell back again just fine. Oh, now that guy's all alone. What you gonna do, buddy? And he's tired. He's like, oh no, 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 him. no, no, no! Oh, did it. Oh, you fail. <laughs> oh, now they're now they're up. Then when they go up again one more time, they're going to uh, super stomp you. Huh? Yep. So let's see if you can do those. One more hit. Oh, that was pathetic. That was a pathetic ending. He deserves to go. Yeah, it just does two. Is it because he's dizzy or because uh, cause they're not in the super mode no. yet? Well, just because they're not in super mode yet. <laughs> Unite once more! <laughs> My fellow shine rooster. I think I'd rather go back to being a normal dude. I wonder what Goomba's doing there in their spare time. It changes your body and your mind. I didn't sign up for that. Oh. Now he's all alone. Can you take on Mario on your own? Oh, I guess he will. He seems to think so. I'm at one health. I can do this. No, no you can't. Well, I'm at eight. <laughs> now what is he going to do? Did He's it. gonna kill himself. Yeah. Mario, the perfect genocider. See, that was the perfect crime. He didn't actually finish off the Goomba. The Goomba finished off himself. It's like Mario handed him a gun and said, Here. Uh, it's like rabbit season, duck season. <laughs> yes. Now Kirsty's gonna give us some advice. Mumbo don't, jumbo about me. yeah, well. Don't stick this in your head, Mario. You did saw what get happened. Stuck there on purpose. Or, yeah, well, you just don't. The power of the royal stickers from the sticker comet is so powerful. It'll be a good catastrophe. Crazy. The power of the sticker. That's all it does, man. The sticker power. Let's put it on the album. The album won't go crazy, because see, the album is not a... Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you're going to leave? Take it! <laughs> nope. Oh, she doesn't even bother to say anything. She's just oh. like, hey, get back in there. We just want to leave. Whatever. Sweet. Super sticker powers activate! We got one of the MacGuffins. Oh, how cute. It's actually on the sticker book cover. There are six MacGuffins, but only five spots on the book. Excited Goombas cheered from on high. Yay! I don't know why I like these little poems at the end of each chapter, but I did. They're cute. Now, reward for collecting MacGuffin is to get a new page. Awesome. So now we can hold that many more stickers. For even more killing power. Alrighty, so next time we get to go to the next world. We are done with the warm, fuzzy plains. Where are we going to go next?